This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics in the garage and school. Okay, now this is a continuation video of the airbag suspension. This one happens to be on the rear. I'm going to show you a little bit about it. This is the actual people that make it auto man, keep trucks moving. You say, why trucks? Well, the part number is actually ABS Z70-7035 air spring cabin. All right. What it does, you see them big tractor and trailers running down the road. The cabin itself, the cab, rides on these airbags on their frame. Then their suspension has the big airbags below giving them a comfortable ride. So here we go. Pull the old one, like I showed you in the other video. You got an Allen that's down here. What size of Allen? This happens to be seven thirty seconds. Okay. And then you have a half inch up in here, or believe, wait a minute. Nine sixteenths. So we're gonna take the nine sixteenths out. Remember to keep them loose and index them right. That means clock right. And then we'll install the new one. But what I do is I'm going to blow this new one out so it gets the right height. You know what I mean? So we go over here. I get my little air tool. I got it down to about 60 PSI. I lower it a little bit. There you go. Now I'll hook it up and I'll blow it out. Give me a second. I'll put you on pause. All I'm going to do is put... This, that's the second hole, the outer hole, is the air. That's the bolt hole, securing hole, center. I'll put that right there, psh, psh, and it'll blow that out. All right, give me a second, put you on pause. Okay, so I blew it out. That's the bottom, this is the top. All right, now we got to, when we put this in, it has to be indexed properly with the air fitting. If you see it, the air fitting right here, but it's got a little oval hole. All right, so I'm going to take all this apart. All right, so we're going to take this air fitting off right here. Loosen this bolt up. It's 9 sixteenths. We got the bottom loosened. We have to put the bottom on because it came off just like that, indexed. All right. Well, we leave it loose so when we get up there, we can fine adjust it. All right, so I'm going to push this off. All right, so we just pulled it out by tilting it, all right? And this here, you push in these fittings right here, all right? Push them in, and the hose slides out, okay? When you put new hose in or whatever, you want this to be perfectly level, okay? Now, what I like about some of the fittings, the cheap ones don't have this locking tube in it. It helps reinforce it. All right, so let's see what the... Uh-huh, there you go. But that's what came with the kit. I'm putting them in. Don't want to use the old stuff. All right, so we just set this off to the side over here. And we'll install the new one. It's just in reverse. So I'll put this one up. I got it indexed pretty good. Uh, tighten it up a little bit more. All right, there was Teflon tape on it already, but if you don't have it, please put it on. All right. Now, what's good about the new one, even though it don't have a far, these pivot easy. All right. The old style that don't have the pivot in it, the uni, uh, moving joint, you have to index properly. So, this one, we don't have to do it. All right. So, I'll put the old chafing tube on. And then I'll put the bottom on. All right. Right here. And there we go. We'll get our little butts up back up under there. Index everything or clock it properly. Then we got the long one here. We put that on. Yeah, I know some of you. Oh my God, your videos bounce around. There you go. It's all right. Hand tighten it. Don't go all the way because I get under there and index a little bit better. There you go. Maybe a little tighter. There you go. All right, so. Just like the other one, we're going to get back under there. And it goes right there where the old stain is, where I put the PB blaster. The top part goes. The air comes over, goes to this metal bracket right here. Okay. All right. So that was how to 
do the actual airbag itself. Then you mount it. There's the insulation of the airbags and the brackets. Then you mount the bracket assembly with airbag. Remember these off, off the uh, tractor and trailer, 18-wheelers, the cab bags. They're actually a little bit heavier than other bags. So that, that, that thing goes up and down a lot when I drive down the road. All right, thank you. This is Jeff from RV Diagnostics.